Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the ultimate men's gift guide, which is why I have Adam here. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of our future videos. We are doing Vlogmas, so there's going to be tons of holiday content with this guy this year. So definitely subscribe before you leave. All right, Adam chose all of these products. So we are going to go through all the products, why he loves them, and link them all down below for you. So what's first? Keep it simple. So first I have a Cole uh, wool beanie. That's the brand. Yeah, the brand is Cole. Um, they're extremely warm and lined, so it'll keep your ears warm and looks good too. The wool goes well if you're gonna be casual or if you're gonna be wearing a nicer coat, you're going out. It kind of is more versatile, but it's a nice, good material and looks good too. It has fleece on the inside? Yeah, there's, it's fleece lined around the edge so your ears stay warm. Also, we have stuff at all different price points. Some of these are lower, higher, some are good for stocking stuffers, some are like more like staple gifts. What's next? Another item would be my portable battery charger from My Charge. It's a 3.0 charger, so then it charges whatever you're plugging in, your phone, your um, tablet, it charges very quickly. It has a built-in plug so that you can plug it directly into the wall. You don't have to have any cords. It also has built-in cords for both the iPhone as well as a uh, Android. I don't think either of these ones are iPhone. There is an iPhone option though. Oh, you like buy it? For... No, there you can buy one with an iPhone oh. wire. It's got a light indicator, tells you when it's fully charged. On a Android, I can charge it about three to four times full charge on a single charge of the charger itself. So it's ideal to take with you when you're traveling. It's just very convenient having the cords and the plug built in. You're not looking for a bunch of uh, other items or having to take things with you. It works for everything. And that one's an Amazon find, right? It's available on Amazon, yeah. Yeah, we'll link everything down below, but I feel like Amazon's always a hot spot for gifts just because it's two-day shipping and very, very convenient. Another item would be if you are a DIY person or even if you, um, you're buying for somebody who does building or contracting. It's the Bosch laser measure. This one here is the GLM 35, so it'll measure up to 120 feet. It's very simple to use and it's very accurate. So uh, small, convenient, easy to take with you. So you can use it anywhere you are. Wait, so what do you do? You just push a button and yep. like... So you'll just turn it on, place it up against one wall and it will it oh, puts okay. the laser across the room and you'll press the button and it will give you the length of the distance that you measured. So it's very convenient that way. And uh, if you had to do a presentation, it's a laser, a laser pointer too. Another item would be Ray-Ban sunglasses. Uh, these ones are polarized, which is the only way I'll buy a pair of sunglasses because they're just, I don't know, I find they're so much better. Uh, if you're, especially um, in the summer, if you're out like on the lake and things, when you're dealing with water and doing anything outdoors, polarized just helps see so much better. Things are clear. You don't get any kind of glare or reflection. These ones I got from her and uh, yeah, they fit really well. They're the plastic frames with a metal uh, arm on them and they're just good looking and good quality also. Uh, I've had many pairs of Ray-Ban sunglasses I've had, and I typically have them for years. I don't have any issues with them as long as you're not somebody who's just throwing them in their seat or, you know, you got to take care of them too. Yeah. Are you going to try them on? Aren't they so cute on him? I like them because they are a metal arm. I've found that uh, ones that I've worn with plastic arms, uh, I feel like they're just, they feel bulky. And a lot of times, I mean, it's the individual sunglasses, but I've found in the plastic arms I've tried on, they're shorter and they don't fit over my ear as well. I also feel like a lot of the ones with plastic arms, like when I was trying to find a pair for him, it the plastic arm almost like sits down. So the sunglass part sits away from your face. It's almost like on an angle. Yeah, these have a little bit of a convex shape, so they kind of fit around your face a little, and they're not like a flat uh, surface, which yeah. I've tried some on that way, and they I feel like you just have a lot of space between the sunglasses and your eyes, so these ones just fit a little bit better than a lot of the ones I've tried on. Yeah. Um, they do come non-polarized. Uh, they are a little bit less expensive if they are, but again, I like to polarize a lot better. Yeah, and you're going to 
pick out a couple other prayers, right? That will yeah, like, we'll pick out a yeah. few that are similar, but maybe at different price points for you if you're right. looking at something a little bit more less expensive. Yeah, I always like to just offer a couple things so that you guys have different options because I know not everyone is going to gift somebody Ray Bans for Christmas. Dropping the price point drastically, but having a lot of fun is Bananagrams. Uh, Sarah and I play this all the time, and yeah. it's a board game that uh, we enjoy. Well, it's not a board. It's it's a game. I mean, yeah. it classifies under board games, I guess, but there's no board. We play it all the time. It's very inexpensive. I, uh, I think you can buy this from Target for like $10 mm -hmm. or on Amazon for a similar price. But it's a fun game. It hits a lot of age range. I mean, if you can play yeah. it with uh, children or cousins or whomever that's younger. To probably like, I would say your youngest, you'd probably want to play with somebody who's like maybe around like the age of 10. But yeah, it's a word game, so yeah. you do have to be able to like read and like put letters. It's kind of like Scrabble in the way that you're making words. It's a crossword letters. type puzzle right. game. It's also a game that you can play with two people. Like we obviously, no one else lives here with us, so a lot of times we'll want to play a game, but there's only so many games you can play the two of right. you that are still fun, and this is definitely one of them. Right, and it's not a it's not a game that uh, is very time consuming. I mean, yeah. probably 15 minutes or so you can play a game. Uh, so you can play multiple or if you only had a short period of time it's easy to take with you comes in a little pouch so uh you can we've taken it on vacation and things with you too yeah and i feel like i think that would be a good stocking stuffer yeah no yeah it's definitely versatile um another item would be uh my wool scarf from banana republic i like it because it's very warm but it also is pretty big it unfolds typically i wear it in half but when you unfold it it's about 18 inches so it will keep you warm when you're outside for sure. And I just feel like their scarves of Banana Republic are very well uh, built. I've had some where I feel like it gets threadbare pretty quickly, or I just feel like uh, you see it start to unravel. Um, this one, I've had it now a year and you can't see any, uh, it's not worn at all. Yeah. So there's a lot of uh, options they have. I mean, they've got some more expensive cashmere ones, but I think that these ones themselves, uh, they price point anywhere from about 50 to $70. And they, uh, this is a solid one. I wear this with uh, my tan pea coat typically, but also they've got uh, argyle striped and ones that are reversible, so you could wear one side uh, with the pattern, one side as a solid. So a lot of different options they give you. I also think guys don't wear scarves as much as like an accessory as women do. So we always want like 20 different scarves for all of these different occasions. Men a lot of times just wear them for warmth. So it's like you'll wear that one all the time right. where I'm switching mine out all the time. So like 50 to $70 sounds expensive for a scarf, but when you are just wearing it for warmth, like more often. It's... Yeah. I mean, I'll, I have, I think two scarves, maybe yeah. three, but I wear, a, I mean, I can wear the same scarf all the time. So yeah. uh, it's, Despite the price, I mean, even if it's a little bit more expensive, it's something that will last. It's something that you'll use all the time. So it's definitely worth the investment. And your cost per wear still ends up like equaling out yes. based on yeah, oh, how yeah. much you, off, you wear it. Definitely. Another item would be the Dollar Shave Club membership. Or even if you didn't want their membership, they have a, diff a few different options as far as like gift packages with all their different items as far as soaps. Um, hair products, beard products if uh, you're looking, but it's got a lot of different options. But I've had the subscription to the razors now for probably about four years. They've hit a lot of different price points as far as what you're looking at in a razor. I think the cheapest option is about $7 a month and you get four razors. This one is the more expensive one, but it's still only $10 um, per month. You get four razors. This one is the six blade. Uh, so I find that you get a really good shave with it. It's smooth and you don't end up cutting yourself or anything like that. Wait, so, you get four razors a month? You get four razors per month. Um, or I'm sorry, this option I have is, well, you can sign up for once a month. It depends on how often you shave. I don't shave my entire face daily because of my beard, but you can, I get it one, uh, every two months. So it's okay. $10, I get four razors every two months. So there's different um, lengths of time depending on how often you're shaving and depending on which razor you want. So when you sign up, you get the actual razor itself. You can buy additional ones if you need it, but then you get the blades and they now change their policy. They're trying to be greener. They're trying to have less packaging. So they'll send you two sets of four razors. So you get eight razors and basically you're getting it every, I get it now every four months versus every, so if you had it originally signed up every month, you're now getting it every two months. I think they're really good quality. They're definitely cheaper than I find if I go to the drugstore, try and pick up a package of razors because they can get expensive. But because it's like out of sight, out of mind, they show up at your house, they're convenient, you need them, they're less expensive. So it makes a good gift. I mean, 
most guys have to shave. Also, that would be a good stocking stuffer too. Yeah. Another item is a the Bose Bluetooth speaker. Uh, we use this at home all the time. Yeah. It's got good sound. It's got uh, good distance as far as how far you can be away uh, from it and still uh, have the Bluetooth connection. You won't lose that. Uh, Bose, I mean, it's historically got good sound as it is, but... This uh, is how our kitchen dance parties are amped up. <laughs> she does the dancing. <laughs> I, I sit and laugh. Yeah. <laughs> but no, they're good. Um, they stay, uh, it's got good quality. It's got, it does have the auxiliary in. So if you did need to plug in like headphones or some other reason uh, to listen to it that way. But you can also, the, another nice item about this one specific is that you can actually connect more than one item to it by Bluetooth at any time. Where I've had other ones in the past, it's a single item. If someone else wants to connect, you've got to disconnect and connect. But this can have multiple people connected at one time. Yeah. Um, so you'll you end just, up... You just like hit a button and every time we hit it, it's like Adam's phone, Sarah's phone, Sarah's laptop, Sarah's watch. Like there's so many things and you just click the button until you're on the device that you want to be listening from. The only issue that comes with that is that Sarah then steals the music yeah. and decides that it's some, going to be something different. And she knows that my music's the better selection. No. I put on a 90s dance party. She loved it. Yeah, that's fine, but sometimes I want to listen to gangster rap. <laughs> um, another item would be the uh, Rehydrate Pro uh, stainless steel water bottle. This one is great. Uh, I've used it for quite a while now. This was a gift to me originally. It's got a rubber base on it, so if you set it down, it's not going to slide or fall. It comes with a cap that is more like a thermos cap, so if you're gonna pour stuff out of it or you're gonna drink directly from it, but it also comes with the flip cap. And you can buy new caps if you need to, so after time, you know, the cap or the flip top gets worn out or dirty or you, can, you can't clean it anymore, you just want a new one, you can buy just the new cap for it. So that makes it nice and versatile. Also, um, there's a couple different sizes. I think this is the larger one at 24 ounces, but they also have one at 17. And That's only 24. Yeah, this is 24 ounces, huh. but being that it is the stainless steel, it can take a beating too, so you don't have to worry about it. This one does have a small dent in it because, well, that was a little aggressive, and then uh, I dropped it on the ground. But, uh, yeah, I like it, the stainless steel versus like a plastic. I feel like it's not going to crack or get brittle. It lasts a lot longer, and I personally, I mean, I don't know, I think the metal, it's more sanitary than plastic is. I mean, plastic it doesn't absorb things, but in my mind, I guess it's just that way. <laughs> So does that make you a Visco boy? No, this is uh, in lieu of a having to have a hydro flask. But I don't. And know this if, was pre hydro flask. Era. I don't know if there's a difference between like what is a high like what's the definition of a hydro flask? It's a specific brand. Hydro flask is the brand. Yes. Oh. Hydro flask is the brand. So I guess oh. it's similar in what it provides, but it is uh, <laughs> definitely less expensive. Um, I think this is at like roughly $18 and it is uh, available am uh, through Amazon and uh, you don't have to be a Visco person then. Yeah, a Visco person. Hey, you could be a Visco boy, you don't have yeah. to be just a Visco girl. I know. Another item would be the socks from Express. I have a lot of their socks. Like uh, his entire sock wardrobe is these socks. They, they have ones in different colors, they have ones in different uh, don't they have, like, styles. Don't they like they're all pretty much the same length, but there are you'll find that some of them are a little thicker, um, which is good in the winter, I guess. Some of them are fun. I've got some with pineapples on them. Uh, these ones have some little spots on it. These are just uh, like a gradient of different grays. This is an argyle, um, but yeah, brown, black, red. I mean, keep in mind, you don't have to match exactly. If I've worn red socks with a black and white outfit, like it doesn't matter. Just have some fun with it. Um, they're typically, I think, like uh, roughly $11 a piece, but they're generally on sale. You'll find sales at Express all the time, 40% off, or buy three for a, a lesser amount. So they have great deals on them all the time, and they're just uh, good socks that I find that they last quite a long time, too. So what's different about these than, like, ones that you would buy? Um, I found that these are, the, the, the quality of them, other ones I've bought, I find that they're thinner and they like to wear on the toe or in your heel faster. So I, um, I mean, I've had some of them, I don't know, a few years, which I think for a pair of socks is pretty good. Yeah. Obviously I'm not wearing the same sock all the time because I have a lot of socks. Even if you figure wearing a sock every other day, you're still wearing it quite a bit in a single year. And I find that 
yeah, I mean, they last quite a few years, so it's pretty good. Cool. And these, I mean, good for a stocking stuffer. If you mm -hmm. bought, a, I mean, even if you bought a few pairs, they're still inexpensive. So yeah. And you could even like group a couple of these things together if you wanted to put like a little basket together with like a hat, scarf, socks, like a little accessory basket or something for your guy. I think that would be a cool gift. Yeah, I mean, hat, scarf, I like, mean, you do like a little outdoor thing. Yeah, or... like gloves. I'm going to say mittens, but I feel like guys don't wear mittens. <laughs> I do have a pair of mittens when I'm snowboarding, no. but yeah. they're also gloves, so. Yeah. Some versatility. Uh, another item would be the Wusthof Chef's knife. So this is an eight inch knife if you're, uh, the person you're buying for likes to cook. I like to cook a lot. Um, this is the eight inch knife, which is a little bit larger. It's not as convenient. Um, I like the, I want to get a six inch knife, which is the one I would, so if you have someone who likes to cook and you're going to buy them, uh, a chef's knife, which is the most versatile, most, uh, it's probably the knife that most people need and should be using for most things. Yeah. Um, but the six inch knife is probably the more convenient one. I mean, it's going to be a little bit shorter than this one. Um, but I use the eight inch one all the time still. And you can buy the six inch one uh, through Amazon, I think right now for about $60. It's on sale. Uh, it's typically a hundred plus dollar knife. So it's an, it's expensive. It's good quality. Um, the Wusthof ones are the ones that uh, I've been collecting, I guess you'd say, I, because it's expensive. You're buying a, a good knife, so you're buying, a, a, but you can't go out and buy the whole set necessarily because that's a lot of money. So it's something that I buy one at a time. So if you knew some that like to cook and do things, you can buy one this year, you buy them a different knife next time or next occasion. But the six inch one would be the most, the one that I'd recommend, but they're really good quality, the steel. It does keep blade sharpness for quite a while. Uh, obviously any knife you need to sharpen over time, but this one uh, does keep that uh, edge for quite a while. And I feel like we use that knife every single time we cook. Yeah. Like every time. Yeah. This is this is the knife that if the, if the person you're buying for doesn't have a chef's knife and likes to cook, or a good chef's knife, I mean they may yeah. have one, but it's, you know, they bought a, a, a set or something and it was inexpensive, uh, to upgrade them, this would be the one that I would recommend to buy them. Yeah. All right, there are two products that Adam doesn't have. Right, one of them, so these are, I guess, items on my wish list that I think would be good gifts also. So one is the Fitbit Versa 2. Convenient, I mean, it's a watch. I wear a watch nearly every single day, so I like, would like, I like that it is not just the Fitbit. It's not a narrow band, but it's actually a watch. Looks like a watch. It has options as far as the band, but it also does all the, gives you all the benefits of a Fitbit. It also can connect to your phone and Android and gives you, or I think it connects with an iPhone also, but it gives you the versatility nice. of uh, being a smartwatch, but also still providing you a Fitbit and looking like a watch. Um, the price point I think fell recently. I think it's about 150 now, uh, was about 200. So it's nice that it's a little bit more affordable, but there's also like the Versa uh, Lite, which is similar, but as far as appearance, but not quite all the same options but the Versa 2 is the one that I would have the desire to have, I guess. Yeah, we'll insert a little photo for you so you guys can see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. The other one would be the Nintendo Classic system. So it's the, uh, looks just like the original Nintendo NES. Small system, comes with the two remotes, uh, connects by HDMI to your TV and gives you a bunch of classic games. It's just convenient, it's small, so it, you don't have all the wires it's easy to uh, take with you, plug in, you go to a friend's house for the night, you know, kind of a thing and have uh, some drinks and some play some games and relive your childhood. So can you only play the old games on it? Right, it doesn't actually accept games. So you can't put old games into it. It has the games built into the system. So you couldn't, like if you had a bunch of old games, like myself, I still have my original Nintendo and the games for it. You don't have that option, but like I would like to have the actual mini system because it is simpler uh, you don't have to connect as many things that you need to connect and you would gain more games some that i don't have actual games to play so it gives you those options it has been difficult to get in the past it sells out quickly um, that could be something that happens again this year at christmas but uh, i know that it is readily available currently if you're looking for it uh, i think it hits it at about a hundred dollars Cool. Another item at the higher end of your price point, I guess, would be the Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones. These I use at work all the time. I mean, I know that there are earbud wireless earbuds now that everyone's wearing and they're convenient. I mean, especially if you're at the gym or something, but I find that after, you know, a little, if I'm going to wear them for any length of time, that earbuds start to hurt the inside of my ear. So I like these are padded 
they're soft, they fit over your ear very comfortably. They have a really good range, so I think you can go about 400 feet from your Bluetooth source. So I'll find like, you know, get up in the office, I've got to go get something or print something. I can walk across the office, leave my phone at my desk, and I don't lose any kind of connection. It's really nice. You can control the volume. You can change songs directly on the headphones. You don't even have to have your phone or whatever your uh, device with you. And uh, though I think it's about a 30-hour battery life, so it lasts a really long time. It charges quickly too. Comes uh, with the USB charging. It also comes with ear cords. So if you're at a point, you know, you're on an airplane or somewhere where you can't connect by Bluetooth, you can still plug them in to use them traditionally. And these come in different colors, right? Yeah, there, I think there's maybe five or six different colors, options that are out there. And they come in just like a nice little case, they fold up. Nicely. Yeah, the headphones fold, fit right inside the case. So they are a more expensive item, but I feel like uh, it's a good purchase. Uh, the sound is very high quality as far as uh, you, the differences in your uh, bass and your treble, and so it's a good purchase. And we can also link a couple other headphone options down below to at different price points. Mm -hmm. Is this the last item? Yeah, so the last item is gonna be my Eddie Bauer jacket. It is just, a, this is a new purchase. It's got a built-in hood. So the hood uh, remains on, it's not removable, which I don't mind. It's uh, something that I'll use myself. Um, but then also it has the, fo the fur on it. Some people like the fur. Uh, myself, I'm kind of, I don't know, neutral to against the fur. Also, Sarah's coat has the fur, is yeah. black also. I'm not trying to look just like her. Maybe you are, but I'm not. Uh, so I take, the, the fur does zip off uh, conveniently, so, it, and it doesn't drastically change it, but now I've got it stuck. <laughs> so so the fur looking. comes off very easily until I all of a sudden, there we go. It's also the awkward angle. Uh, but no, it's very warm. Uh, I, I'm taller, as you may or may not know, but at this size, it's just a, a large. It's not a tall, which I'm always iffy about buying tall because I feel like they get really long in my torso then, so that makes it fit my sleeves. But these, they're long enough sleeves, add just a large, not a tall, and it fits me well. It's comfortable. It's got pockets on the exterior, pockets on the interior, and it's um, something I didn't have a casual coat, so I can wear this casually when I'm out and just on a, a daily basis kind of a thing. Yeah, I was um, shocked at how thin it feels, but how warm you said oh, it I'm, actually will be. Yeah, I mean, I've so. been outside in Michigan already in November, outside in, I think, 10 degree weather, and it's... I mean, I'm not cold at all. I zip it up, you know, I throw on hat and gloves, and uh, the coat keeps me very warm throw the yeah. hood over my head if I need to, but definitely a good purchase. Eddie Bauer's got some great sales right now, uh, so you can get a very affordable and uh, discounted price on it. Yeah, I think you got like 40% off. Yeah, and right now, I mean, it's available through Amazon, also directly on their website. I think there are similar prices, but I think it's nearly 50, maybe even 60% off right now. So really good deals. Yeah. Yeah, so that's everything that I've come across, things that I want, things that I use and just think are uh, good items for other people to have. Yeah, so I hope that some of these work. You can throw them in a stocking or give them as a gift. You might purchase one for yourself. Yeah, for the like 3% men that watch my channel. Right. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this and enjoyed seeing Adam on my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave us a comment. Let us know what your favorite item was, if your boyfriend, husband, dad, whoever has any of these, or if you're going to buy any of them. Let us know all the things down below, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.